Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is Nomad Gaming. If you are new to the channel, then welcome. This is our Expedition Zoo, where we have a bunch of different uh, countries that we're going to be working on in this zoo in the type of spoke, wheel spoke uh, layout, just like you would find at Magic Kingdom. It's been a while. Uh, it's been about three months to the day, actually. And I've been pretty busy. Uh, I went to Russia, Poland, Latvia, Ukraine, Belarus, Montenegro, Croatia, and now I'm in the UK. So I've been to eight different countries within the two months that this year has already started. So that's uh, kind of insane. But I got engaged back in January in Croatia where most of the Game of Thrones series was filmed. And it was just stunning. I would highly recommend going to Croatia and Montenegro. And if it wasn't on your bucket list before, it definitely should be. So, enough about that. Uh, we're going to focus on the gaming now, right? And that's what we're here for. So, what are we building here? Um, well, spoiler alert, it's probably in the title and in the description. So, we're building... A Zoopedia library. In the game of Planet Zoo, we are blessed to have the Zoopedia that tells us everything that we need to know about the animals, their environment, how much space they need, what type of foliage do they need, do they need water. The list goes on and on. But if you are a visitor in this park, you would have no idea what those animals need or about their environment. I mean, maybe you do, but this is going to be a place that the peeps can go in and go to a section of the library, pull out a book about, who knows, monkeys or, you know, alligators, whatever. Any animal that we have in our zoo, they're going to be able to go there, grab a book, read sections if they want to. There might even be staff from the park that are going to be in the library helping them learn different things about the care taking of the animals or even maybe even like the veterinarian side of things. So it'll just be a place for them to go in, kind of get cooled off, relax, read a book. And it's going to be located on our main street. And there'll be like along the main street, we'll have, who knows, a greenhouse, uh, gift shops, food places, just that kind of stuff. General stuff that you see when you walk in, just imagine when you walk in the entrance of Magic Kingdom and you don't really have any rides or any crazy themed things on the main street. You just have kind of generic style of buildings uh, going through the center and waiting till you get to the big castle and then it kind of splits off and goes from there. So you'll see that in the first part of this time lapse, I build kind of the main structure of the library and then it kind of cuts to another section where I completely rebuild <laughs> the whole thing because the first time it was just too blocky it was just horrendous and I know that it probably takes longer to do this type of building process but this is just how I do it I kind of lay everything out in what would be rectangles or, or blocks and and then I go from there and add more details or, you know, kind of reshape the building from there. But I just kind of want to get the general idea of the size of the building and what it's going to look like. And then I go back and change it again. And so if you stay till the end, uh, I'll actually be walking around in the first person view and I'll show you what the library looks like complete with the landscape and everything. I've added benches. I've added planters and flowers and stuff throughout the entire area so if you are not a subscriber already please don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring the bell and that way you'll be notified anytime a new video is uploaded so stay tuned and i'll see you in a few minutes
and we're back and here it is with the foliage and everything I think this turned out really really well and now if I can just figure out why my guests kind of come right here and then they just turn around and go back maybe there's not enough stuff going on while they're just ignore this yeah this is uh, I think this is recorded but I'll show you guys later uh, yeah, they kind of like come up here and then they just turn around and go back. I really don't know why they keep doing that, but I'll figure it out. So there is no interior yet. That will be a later episode. I just kind of wanted to focus on the exterior. So give me just a second. I'll see if I can go into Tejcam. If I can remember how to do it, geez, it's been so long since I've uh, since I've actually done this. I can't edit that person's name. Cool. What about a worker? Yeah, here we go. can. Does that not work? Or does it have to be just Tedget? There we go. Oh boy. What am I stuck on? Okay, here we go. All right, so here's what it would look like if you were on the main street, kind of walking by it. So we have these two sides that are wheelchair accessible to go up through here and go in, or you can walk up the steps here. And there's also benches on both sides. People can take a seat. There's trash cans, recycling bins. Oh, and I even added, so I wanted this to actually look like it was supported by something. So I added these pieces of wood in the back here that just support those letters. So yeah, I am really happy with the way that this turned out. And I'm very excited to do some of the interior stuff. I kind of started working on the pathway already because I want the main street to be connected throughout the entire length of the of the main street. So as in like the next building will actually have a pathway that will lead out of this building and kind of go straight into the next one. So that you can just walk from building to building and you wouldn't even have to go outside on the main street if you didn't want to. So I'm really excited about how this is turning out. And in the next episode, I will show you kind of what's going on over there with the greenhouse situation. And I'll also talk about what I've done over here with this center uh, section, the weenie section, we'll call it. So, yep, you can see the, the Mayan pyramids over there. Yeah, so please let me know if you liked it. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you want to see something different or what I should work on next. And yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>